As you're well aware, the whole world is watching the vote count in Pennsylvania. The Keystone State could very well be the key to it all. CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell joins us now from election headquarters in Times Square. Thank you again, Nora, for joining us. Let's jump right in. Pennsylvania Secretary of State Kathy Bookvar just said Pennsylvania should be finished counting mail-in ballots later tonight. If so, what's the overall gut feeling of how long it could be before a final result? Well, what does it feel like, Yuki, to have the whole world watching the state of Pennsylvania? <laughs> no, tell me <laughs> I about mean, it. Everyone is dying to know the final vote tally there in Pennsylvania. I mean, how many times today can I keep clicking my computer to sort of see the latest vote tally? It is really interesting to hear from your Secretary of State just how hard all those people are working to get those votes counted quickly because there was such a massive turnout in your state. But look, Pennsylvania is so critically important. You know that. At this point, when we look at that map, Donald Trump cannot win without the state of Pennsylvania. He needs it. He also needs Georgia, North Carolina, and he also needs one of those two states in the West, Nevada or Arizona. For Joe Biden, he has a much easier path at this point to the presidency. If Joe Biden won uh, Pennsylvania tonight, he would be the next president of the United States. But he can also win without Pennsylvania if he wins Nevada and Arizona or Nevada and Arizona and one other big state like Georgia where it's getting very close there. So, you know, a lot of these states are like that. We're just waiting for these final tallies to come in before we at CBS News can call that and get a clearest sense of who won in that state. But it's really exciting and we'll have a primetime special tonight to really dig into all the latest details. And tell us a little more about that primetime special, Nora. Yeah, well, it's going to look a lot like election night. We'll have John Dickerson, Gail King, Ed O'Keefe, um, and Nancy Cordes, Major Garrett with the exit polls. And what we really want to do is answer that question that I think everybody wants to know. Who will be the next president of the United States and when will I know? And it's a fluid situation because we get updates just like we did from your Pennsylvania Secretary of State saying, well, we're going to know a lot more tonight. We're also hearing that Arizona is going to put out another 140,000 votes. So we'll look can see at the margin there. Actually, Joe Biden is leading by 70,000 votes in the state of Arizona. So there's a lot happening, and that's why we want to do this primetime special. I think a lot of people may feel anxious or stressed mm. out there, but uh, we're trying to tell everybody, be patient, let them do their job. And so that's what this special is about tonight. And then we'll also just break down and explain why Joe Biden is doing well in some of these states where Donald Trump did well in some of these states, just to give a clearer picture about the state of this nation. And there's also some news that we'll report tonight on control of the U.S. Senate. This is going to be a very big night. Nora, thank you so much. We'll look forward to our network election news team coverage coming up not long from now. We'll see you shortly. And you can see the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell every weeknight after Eyewitness News at 6.30. Then stay with CBS 3 and CBS News for up-to-the-minute coverage on this historic election. As Nora mentioned, CBS News will have an election special tonight at 10 p.m. with the very latest on election 2020.